Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. Today I'll be sharing with you my whole experience in art therapy school. So if you're curious about that, then continue watching the video. I'll be sharing with you my whole journey from start to finish. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm back every week with new videos for you. So I want to start off by saying that I went to art therapy school back in 2012 and so it was quite a long time ago and so I don't think I'm going to remember everything correctly but I'm going to do my best to recall all the details and also the school that I went to. I'm not sure if the course requirements have changed or anything like that but this is what it was like back in 2012. So I went to the Vancouver Art Therapy Institute and that is based in Vancouver, British Columbia, which is my hometown. And the school is located on Granville Island, which is this beautiful, vibrant neighborhood in Vancouver. It's a huge tourist attraction as well. It's right by the water. It's full of a lot of artists and food and it's just a really nice energy to be in. And I felt like the school being on Granville Island really helped to kind of build that experience of art and people and it was just really awesome that I got to experience that. So I took the 18 month diploma program. It was all in person and basically what you needed to get into the program was any sort of bachelor's degree. So I had a bachelor's of fine arts and so I went in with the art background. A lot of my classmates came in with a psychology background and I don't think it really matters what you came in with because I feel like in the end we all kind of learned the same skills and it didn't really matter in the end. So wherever you are at, whatever you're studying, I don't think it really matters just as long as you have an interest in art therapy. So the program um, consisted of 700 practicum hours academic courses and studio courses and so it was really nice to have a variety of everything and so some days you'll be learning about adolescent art therapy, the history of art therapy and then the other days you'll be making art and then the other days you'll be at your practicum site. So I really enjoyed that because it was just a nice variety. I didn't get bored and it was also a condensed program and so it was quite intense to be in school. I did work a job when I was in school but I only worked one or two times a week but it kind of like takes over your life because you know you're doing practicum you're studying so it was just a really kind of intense time but I personally enjoy that better I kind of like that intensity more so than just kind of doing it part-time but that's just me so my class was actually quite small and the school was actually quite small. We only had like one or two classrooms and in my class, I think there was only about 12 of us and we were all women. We kind of all came from different backgrounds, but obviously we shared the love of art. It was a really intimate experience, which I actually really valued and enjoyed. I felt like if it had any more people, then maybe you wouldn't get that full experience of, of feeling as safe and I felt like we were a pretty close group. It was just perfect in terms of the amount of people I thought. So in terms of the practicum, we had to do one at an elementary school and then we had I think a choice of choosing our own as well. And so for my experience, I had a practicum at an elementary school, a women's center, an addiction center, a mental health group at a community center. And then I also ran a private clinic at the school where anybody could kind of come in and experience what art therapy was. And so you get a lot of experience and I experienced a lot of different populations, which was really helpful for me to understand, you know, who I really wanted to work with and where I felt most comfortable and what was most interesting to me. Personally, for me, I found that working with kids was definitely not something I wanted to do. I'm really glad I had that experience of working in the elementary school, but it just didn't really align with me and I couldn't really get deep into the work and it just wasn't for me and I found that I really enjoyed working with women. That's where I've kind of gone to now as well, but it was really awesome to kind of get the full spectrum experience. I felt really supported when I was in school in terms of getting the practicum sites and feeling supported of what to do. I felt like the teachers were really caring and they were all quite diverse too, you know, in their styles of art therapy. They 
also brought different people in as well. And so we were exposed to a lot of different styles of art therapists. And I felt like that was really helpful just to see how people worked in the field and what they did. I also started seeing an art therapist in art therapy school to kind of get the full experience. I actually really enjoyed that as well. And I would definitely kind of recommend to do that too if you are in art therapy school. As I said before, I really, really enjoyed the intimate aspect of the class and being in the classroom because I, it, it's really hard to kind of go through this experience because I kind of felt like I learned more about myself than I did about art therapy in school because you're learning about, you know, like the techniques and everything, but at the same time, you're doing a lot of inner work. You know, a lot of yourself is being exposed in the artwork, you're exposed to the group and, and there's a lot of stuff that can come up for you. So if you're not ready to face yourself and face your shadows and your past traumas and who you really are, then it may not be for you because in that way, it was such a time of self-development for me that that's why I really enjoyed the intimacy of the group because we were really able to kind of dive deep and be held by each other. I remember during school, I actually got into a car accident that was quite traumatizing for me. And I went to school on that Monday. I didn't tell anyone what happened, but I remember we had studio time. We had to make some artwork and I put up a huge piece of paper on the wall and I just kind of drew my experience of what happened in the car accident. And then when it came time to share, that's when it came out. You know, that's when I was really able to process what happened. And then I just, I just remember crying really really hard and I just remember all of my classmates kind of moving in closer my teacher and I just felt so safe I felt so safe to share myself and what happened to me it was just such a big moment for me to know that wow I experienced the healing power of art and I felt so held by these other art therapists in training and I'll never forget that I'll never forget that experience it was yeah, it was really, really powerful. And so that's why I like the intimacy of the group because we were really able to hold space for each other as well. Another thing I really enjoyed about the school was that they, as I said, they brought in a lot of guest teachers, you know, different workshops. I remember we did kind of an expressive arts workshop and then we did a ukulele workshop. There was a lot of different things that helped to add to the experience of art therapy. It was just such an enriching time for me to learn about all of this. And I just remember feeling in school like, wow, I found my people. You know, I found the people that really share this passion of healing arts with me. And I just felt so much more like myself. I really felt like I found myself in art therapy school because I was really able to express what I've been wanting to express for so long, right? On top of that, being in practicum and working with the clients, that was a really interesting experience. You know, when I think back of my first sessions with clients, I feel a little bit embarrassed because I didn't know what I was doing at all. And I remember we had to film some of our sessions and share it with class. And I just remember feeling so embarrassed, but you know, these are things you have to go through. I met a lot of amazing clients actually in during that time. And one of my favorite client memories is from the time that I did my practicum. And I remember I was working with a girl who was struggling with some social anxiety. And so when she came into the studio, I gave her some clay to play with because I felt that she was kind of fiddling with her hands a lot. And I wanted her to kind of be tactile with her hands, working with the clay. While we were talking in the session, she looked like she wanted to kind of throw the clay. So I asked her to take some clay and roll it into a ball. And I was like, do you want to throw this piece of clay on the wall here? Why don't we try doing that? And so she did that and the clay stuck on the wall and it landed and it made a really beautiful organic shape. And I was like, wow, like you literally just transformed something here. And so for the rest of the session, for the 45 minutes, she was throwing clay at the wall. And the very end of the session, there was this, the wall was filled with beautiful clay shapes that she had thrown. And it was the first time that I really saw how art can transform our emotions. It transformed her anxiety and fear into freedom, into expression. I'll never ever forget that. I just remember feeling 
so happy that I got to experience that with her and in school. So at the end of the program, we were required to write a final paper, kind of like a thesis to um, graduate. And we all got to choose our own topics. And I felt like this was really fun because I got to see what my classmates were doing. And it was just interesting to see where we all wanted to focus on. For me, I kind of had a hard time deciding what I wanted to do, but eventually I got it. And so I actually ended up creating a seven week program for breast cancer survivors. And the title of my thesis was Reclaiming the Body Through Art Therapy and Yoga. I was really interested in yoga at that time and I really wanted to combine the practice of art therapy and yoga. It was a really cool thing to kind of dive into at the end of my graduation. I remember at our graduation, we got real diplomas, but something that I remember that the teachers did, which I thought was so beautiful. They took a huge piece of canvas and the, all the teachers collaborated on one big painting. And then they ended up cutting the canvas into individual diplomas for everyone. And so we all got to keep a piece of that painting. And I still have that to this day. I keep it upstairs in my studio as a reminder of my time in art therapy school. So overall, my experience in school was really, really great. I felt like it helped me develop a lot as a woman, as a human, as an art therapist. I would say the only thing that was kind of lacking in the program was the business side of art therapy. I think that's something I really had to learn after school. It, it was touched on a little bit in school, but I felt like it could have been touched on a bit more just so that we can learn how to navigate what happens after graduation. But other than that, I really have no negative things to say about my experience in art therapy school. I really, really enjoyed it and it's definitely one of the most memorable two years of my life where I really discovered the healing power of art. And for that, I'm just really grateful that I got to experience that with my classmates and the teachers that I had at the Vancouver Art Therapy Institute. So I think that's really all I have to say. I don't really remember too many of the technical details of what happened in school, but I remember how I felt. And how I felt is that I felt really safe, I felt really supported, and I felt really inspired. And I think that's all that matters. So if you have any other questions for me, feel free to email me or leave them down in the comments below. I would love to chat with you about it. And in the meantime, I'm sending you all love and creativity and I'll see you next week.